Hi, I'm Franny and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Tiff and I'm a junior. Welcome, Welcome to, to Boston, Boston College. College. We are so excited to show you around today. The first stop on our tour is Linden Lane. Linden Lane is a monumental spot on campus for all BC students. Linden Lane is where you will start and end your time here at BC. Linden Lane is where you will gather for your first year convocation and is also where you will end your time at BC for your senior year commencement. When you get to campus, don't forget to take the iconic gas and gram. Boston College was founded in 1863 as a Jesuit Catholic institution. The Jesuits are a Catholic order of priests whose large focus is on education. And since there's such a great focus on education, the Jesuit values find ways to work themselves into our academics and daily life here at BC. Two of the phrases that you'll hear quite often are cura personalis, which means care and knowledge of the whole person, and being men and women for and with others. One of the ways our students engage in those two mottos is through service. In fact, over 80% of our student body will participate in a service activity at some point during their Boston College career. Although we are called Boston College, we are actually a university, which means we have both graduate and undergraduate students here. Our nearly 9,400 undergraduate students study across four academic divisions. The Morrissey College of Arts and Sciences, which houses two-thirds of our student body, in addition to our three pre-professional schools, the Carroll School of Management, the Lynch School of Education and Human Development, and the Canal School of Nursing. This is Devlin Hall, home to the Office of Undergraduate Admission, where we welcome thousands of visitors each year. This is where my BC story began. This is also where I took one of my very first classes here at BC. There is nothing like the liveliness of the quad, especially on the first day of school or on the first sunny day of spring. You can always count on seeing a friendly face here when you're passing between your classes. This is O'Neill Plaza, where some of BC students' favorite traditions are held. The Christmas tree lighting, Health of Palooza, Mass of the Holy Spirit, and Arts Fest. Every year here on Stokes Lawn, our over 300 clubs and organizations host the Student Involvement Fair. Because we don't have Greek life on campus, clubs and organizations become a big part of student life. Boston College offers a variety of clubs that you can join. We have everything ranging from performing arts to cultural clubs, political societies, and even student government. Stokes Lawn is actually the home to the largest events that Boston College has to offer. One of them being Stokes Set, which is a concert that happens every fall to celebrate the beginning of the school year. And we even had College Game Day from ESPN right here. Since Boston College is a Jesuit liberal arts university, we value being well-rounded individuals when we leave here. One of the ways that the Jesuit values shows itself in our academics is through the core curriculum, which all students will fulfill during their time here at BC. There are a variety of ways you can fulfill the core curriculum. One of them is through participating in the core renewal program, which are classes that are only available to freshmen, but they combine two subject areas that you may not have even known coexisted. Like for example, you could take the brain and behavior on theater, in which you study how psychology and theater interact, or you can also take the Black Lives Matter movement meets the hashtag Me Too movement and studies history and social activism. During your time at Boston College, you might have a class that is in a larger lecture hall setting, but the majority of classes that you take here are going to be in a classroom just like this. One class that you might take in a classroom this small is called Pulse, which fulfills your theology and philosophy core. Pulse pairs an in-classroom experience with a service learning opportunity in the city of Boston. Because of the university's commitment to a formative liberal arts education, a Boston College graduate is a well-rounded critical thinker a great conversation partner, and ready to address the world's most pressing needs. There are so many places here on campus for students to hang out. One of my favorite places actually happens to be right here. This is the Chocolate Bar, and this is an awesome place to grab a cookie, a coffee, and just hang out with friends. In addition to meeting with friends, students will often meet with the professors here also. All professors are required to hold office hours and be as flexible with and available to students throughout the week. I've met with professors in their office, in common places like this, and one of my friends has even run around the reservoir with one of her professors. That's awesome. And you know, there's so many opportunities for your professors to become your mentors and advisor during your time here at Boston College. This is Fulton Hall, home to the Carroll School of Management. All students studying in the Carroll School of Management will take a class called Portico their freshman year. Portico is a business ethics seminar course which lays the foundation for future business education. For students who are not in the Carroll School of Management, like myself, 
you have the opportunity to pick up a variety of minors that the Carroll School of Management offers. For example, I hold a major in Psychology, Bachelor of Science, and a minor in Theater in the Morrissey College of Arts and Sciences. However, I also hold a minor in Marketing here in the Carroll School of Management. This is Campion Hall. As an Applied Psychology and Human Development major, I spend much of my time here because it is the home of the Lynch School of Education and Human Development. The Lynch School teaches and prepares future educators and professionals. Another resource that we have here at Boston College is the Campus School. The Campus School is in charge of educating students ages 3 to 21 who have unique learning needs. This is Higgins Hall, which is home to our biology and physics departments and labs. Here at BC, we are a tier one research institution, which means there are so many opportunities to do research and to do it in something that you love. The Canal School of Nursing provides its students with critical training and knowledge needed to enter the healthcare field. This is one of our state-of-the-art simulation labs we have on campus where you will often see our nursing students engage in hands-on learning. Students will take part in clinical rotations in some of the most well-known hospitals in the city of Boston. They also have the opportunity to volunteer their skills as part of an international healthcare collaboration in countries across the globe. This is O'Neill Library, one of the many study spaces BC has to offer its students. O'Neill Library is the largest library on campus and it's also open 24 hours a day. On this floor of O'Neill, we have the Connors Family Learning Center, which is a free resource for students to use if they may struggle in classes. It offers free peer-to-peer -peer tutoring and also writing assistance. I know that the Connors Family Learning Center was instrumental in my somewhat success in my freshman year general chemistry class. If you're looking for a quiet place to study, BAPS Library may be the perfect place for you. As one of the oldest buildings on this campus, BAPS Library is often regarded as one of the most beautiful campus libraries in the country. And bonus, it also looks like Hogwarts. The Labyrinth is one of the many places on campus where you will often see students engaging in reflection. Here at BC, we encourage our students to ask themselves three important questions. What brings you joy, what are you good at, and what does the world need from you? Another way students can participate in reflection is through retreats. BC offers a variety of retreats, and three examples are Kairos, 48 Hours, and Half Time. And this all leads us back to our main goal of educating the whole person. During your freshman year at Boston College, you will live on one of two campuses, Upper Campus or Newton Campus. Newton Campus is about a mile and a half down the road from Boston College's main campus. You do not have to worry about your own transportation because the Boston College bus runs regularly to and from Newton Campus. On both Upper and Newton Campus, you will find a sense of community, and that is due in part to your residential assistants. They will do programming throughout your freshman year to make sure you have many opportunities to get to know your fellow floor mates. A question that we get asked a lot is, how do I find a roommate? And well, that's up to you. You can either come in with a selected roommate, that may be somebody who you already know, or you can fill out the survey from Residential Life and you will be paired with a random person. Although we all have great experiences on Boston College's campus, about 50% of students will say that one of their favorite experiences actually happened while they were off campus and studying abroad. BC provides each student the opportunity to study abroad. Most students will choose to go during their junior year, so that way they can spend their final year at BC together and fully immerse in the Boston College community. Welcome to the Mods! Boston College students want to live on campus, especially during their senior year. One of the most coveted places to live for seniors is right here in the Mods. Residential life is all about living in community with your classmates and friends and making some of the best memories you possibly can here at BC. This is the Margo Canal Recreation Center. Throughout its four floors, we have a variety of fitness equipment and we offer health, wellness, and exercise classes. Our facility has basketball courts, tennis courts, a rock climbing wall, golf simulator, and even a swimming pool. If you want to play sports at Boston College, but not necessarily at a Division I level, don't worry because there are plenty of options for you. One of them is through club sports, which is a comparable level to what you may have experienced as a high school varsity athlete. If you want something a little less competitive, feel free to join intramural sports, which is something you can do with your friends or just meet some new people and play whatever sport you'd like. And plus, you'd always compete for this coveted intramural mug. Boston College has a variety of offices and resources here on campus for students from all different types of backgrounds. One of them being the Thea Bowman Ahana Intercultural Center, affectionately known as the BAIC. 
AHANA is our diversity and inclusion program here on campus, and that acronym stands for African, Hispanic, Asian, Native American, and PLUS, so it encompasses all students of color. The BAIC offers programs such as community research, college advising and counseling, and cultural competency programs, and even dialogues on race. Boston College provides resources so students feel supported both physically and mentally. One of them is the University Health Services, which is fully staffed with doctors, physicians, and technicians. And students can go here if they're ever feeling ill and receive the proper treatment. University Counseling Services is located in Gaston Hall. Mental health professionals provide individual therapy, group therapy, and same-day consultation to best meet students' needs. I know these professionals are really important to students who are experiencing life transitions, stress, or just need somebody to talk to. Here we are at the Boston College Career Center. You can begin your career exploration journey the moment you step on campus. Students will speak with faculty and staff and upperclassmen throughout campus and career counselors here in our Career Center. The Career Center provide a variety of resources and programs to assist our students through this process. These include cover letter and resume workshops, interview preparation sessions, and opportunities to connect and network with alumni. Alumni Stadium is home to our ACC Division I football team. My favorite part about Boston College game days is seeing lower campus filled with current students and alumni coming back home to the Heights. I love singing the Four Boston Fight song every time we score a touchdown. This statue is of Doug Flutie, one of the most well-known BC football players who threw the Hail Mary pass. Hey, go long! Conti Forum is home to our men's and women's basketball, hockey, and volleyball teams. A high level of competition from Division I teams bring out the best in our students as we crowd either side of the arena for our home games. You will always find me in that super fan section cheering on our teams. Not only is Conti Forum home to some of the incredible sports teams Boston College has to offer, but also some of its largest events, including Ahana Leadership's Council, Showdown Dance Competition, Pops in the Heights, and more. One of my favorite parts of Boston College is BC Dining. Something that's so great about BC Dining is that all of our services are in-house. Not only is BC Dining forward thinking, but they are constantly working to provide fresh, new, and sustainable options in all of our dining hall locations here on campus. Additionally, we operate under an a la carte system, which means each item is individually priced, so you can always catch me grabbing a cookie before class. One of my favorite spots on campus is Hillside Cafe. I often come here to grab lunch, a coffee, and sit down with friends between classes. It has a great social environment for students to enjoy programming by the Our Campus Activities Board and other events such as Agape Latte, a speaker series from our faculty and staff about the intersection of faith and life. This is Rob Sham Theater, specifically the main stage. It may look empty now, but during the year, it is packed, especially for a performance. You can be involved in the arts academically, extracurricularly, or both here at BC. Boston College offers a theater department, a music department, and a film, art, and heart history department. What's great about the theater department is that you don't actually have to be a major or a minor to participate in the shows. For example, I've already been in at least seven shows and I'm not even a theater major. Boston College is located in Chestnut Hill, right outside the city of Boston. Our location allows for a close campus feel as well as easy access to the city. Yeah, actually, I know a lot of the students go into the city, whether it's for internships, service, or even just to have fun. I know I love going into the city to eat at my favorite restaurant and even trying to catch a Boston Red Sox game every once in a while. Boston College participates in many Boston traditions. One of them actually happens on Com Ave right behind me, and that's the Boston Marathon. Boston College is located right on mile 21, so you can bet that every year BC students will be out here cheering on the runners just as they end the Heartbreak Hill, and sometimes even running it themselves. One of my favorite Boston College traditions is the Bean Pot, which is a hockey tournament for some of the schools here in Boston. BC students will hop on the tee right here at our very own Boston College tee stop and take the public train transportation system all the way to the arena. One of Boston College's newest and largest academic initiatives is the Schiller Institute for Integrated Science and Society. The Schiller Institute will enhance our global public health minor and computer science programs while hosting our brand new global public health and human-centered engineering majors. The human-centered engineering mission aligns with our Jesuit liberal arts values to use the sciences, arts, and humanities to find solutions to problems regarding energy, health, and the environment through a human-centered lens. 
Thank you for joining us. We love showing you around campus. We hope to welcome you to the Boston College community really soon.